Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you create a switchboard form, all you are doing is changing the form's function or purpose within the database. Instead of allowing users to perform data entry, switchboard forms let users click buttons or make choices in option groups that then launch macros which grant users access to other forms and reports or automate other database tasks for them. Switchboard forms control the flow of the database application's screens. While the navigation form types let you create switchboard forms and add buttons for navigation more easily than before, you can still create a switchboard form using this method for greater control over its properties, although using the navigation form type is faster and easier. To create a switchboard form, click the Form Design button that appears in the Forms button group on the Create tab in the ribbon. Do not associate any data source with the form. Next, in the Form Design view, click the Form Selector button in the upper left corner of the form. This is the small, gray square button located at the intersection of the horizontal and vertical rulers. Clicking this will place a small black square into the box to show it is selected. That means you have the whole form selected versus selecting a specific section in the form. Next, ensure you can see the property sheet. If not, click the property sheet button in the tools button group on the design tab of the form design tools contextual tab within the ribbon to enable its display. In the property sheet, you then change some default settings to change some default aspects of the form which are commonly used for data entry. This lets you add images, instructional text and labels, command buttons, and other types of navigational controls to the form. To start, click the Format tab within the property sheet. In this tab, click into the Default View property and select Single Form from the drop-down menu. Next, click into the Allow Form View property and select Yes from the drop-down menu. Then, set the Allow Datasheet View and Allow Layout View properties to No by clicking into each property and choosing No from the drop-down menu. This will prevent the user from changing the view of your switchboard form. Next, click into the Record Selectors property and set that to No. Click into the Navigation Buttons property and set that to No too. This will remove the distracting record navigation features which are not used in a switchboard form as it is not used for data entry. Once you've made these basic changes, plus any additional ones you would like, save your changes to the form. Then you can begin adding your desired navigational controls, command buttons, and on-screen instructions to your switchboard form. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.